Microscope down. We are at the Electron Microscope Lab at University of Utah. We figured if we're gonna cut open a microscope, we need to meet with some people that actually understand a microscope and know how it works. David and Dan. Hi, David Belknap. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is our yeah. microscope that we brought. Do we need to be wearing this stuff? Um, probably not for what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna keep the lab coat on because I feel cool in it and I feel smarter. When it comes to things like childhood death and different diseases, you may look at it from a global perspective and think that, man, it's really depressing and sad, but in reality, things have actually improved a lot. In fact, childhood deaths have been cut in half over the last 15 years. And so a lot of that has to do with different things that are done in labs just like this, trying to find cures to diseases. And so that's the main reason why we came here. It's in collaboration with Bill and Melinda Gates. They're doing their annual letter this year, which we will link in the description below and you can check it out. But we wanna learn a little bit about different diseases. Like polio, for example, is basically non-existent compared to what it used to be. David, some of your research is on polio. You've done a lot of research. Do you have some polio that you can show us? There it is, right there. Wait, what? That little tiny dot Yeah, thing? that little dot right there in the end. Do you see the light? So there's some light going through there. Okay, look through there and see what you can see. See if you can see the polio now. There's squares everywhere. Yeah, those squares. So. The polio viruses are in on those squares. Little tiny dots. So many of them. Wait, but this is as far as you can zoom right here? Is yes. We, right now? That's right. So what do you even use if you need to see the virus? We use the electron microscope. Are you ready, Lincoln? I think so. This is the electron microscope that we are not allowed to cut open. Th that's the microscope. This how, is it. How is that? I don't understand. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's a ballpark. How much does one of these guys cost? Uh, half a million dollars. Half a million dollars for this microscope. Yeah. yeah, we're not cutting that one open. It's getting real in here, guys. Polio virus to its core. This is about to happen. This is very, 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 very cold. We need to clamp it down. All right, the sample is going in, everybody. The sample is in. So this is like an airlock, just like the astronauts when they go into space. So you want to drive, Lincoln, and I'll tell you how to drive? Yeah, that sounds right. Yep. Oh, there you go. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Ah. Each one of these is one virus probably played with a trackball before, right? So let's move around and see if we can find some other ones. Yeah, oh, that's cool. And we are looking at the actual virus at how many times? 40,000 40, times. 40,000 40, times. If you take a millimeter and divide it into a million times, it'd be 30 of those. Isn't that amazing? So kids, if you think that you don't like science or you don't think it's interesting, look at Lincoln. We give him a microscope. He is not stopping. He's just like exploring this entire world. It's like a video game. Stay in school, learn about science. Go to our Instagram. We'll just post this picture on there and not have any explanation on Instagram and comment that you know that that's polio. So Bill and Melinda Gates, one of the numbers that's super important to them is the number zero. And what they mean by zero is they're striving for a world that has zero cases of malaria, zero polio zero TB. Those little circles that you saw, if we looked at it in a 3D version, this is what it would look like. That's polio. Move it. It looks like a planet that Klingons live on. What's Klingon? <laughs> You'll learn someday. We've got our microscope. We're gonna take it home and cut it open. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thanks Appreciate for all coming. your work here. Thanks for coming. Uh, we're back home now and I wanted to make sure that this microscope works and I can show you guys it works. I bought this little adapter, this like glass it up adapter thingy. This is what a fly looks like. So sick. It's like hairs and eyes. Oh. We have confirmed that was super gross. All right, let's take apart this microscope and see what is inside. We got it all up on here. I turned yep. it this way. Yeah, I think it'll work. This thing looks pretty strong. But I think the saw can cut it. We lost the top. Is it's it shot in the bag. Hairs? It should be right in that hole. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Ah! 
Ooh. That's hot. That. Hot metal, that is just for a lesson for the kids. Don't touch that. Don't touch hot metal. That's why you wear gloves. Okay. They are uh, joined together. Everybody. Two. Two. It's off. We still need to get into this. Look, there's lenses right there in it. Just hanging on by a thread. All right, we got her. Where's all the lenses? There's some glass in there. A mirror, I should say, that made the image so it'd come up and turn and go up so you could see it up in there. All right, that's the top part. As I was cutting through this other side, I hit the bottom and it nudged the screws off of this guy. Success. Success. Here's what it looks like in the bottom. It's cool. You can see all the motors inside of it. There's and, light. And you can see the light. Look down there. When this um, turns, it moves that. That little light is the one that powers it all. We just got into where the actual light goes through it right there with the blue thing. It's pretty heavy. You can do it, Blade. Microscope down. Well, we finally got this guy out of the top. Here's where we're at. We're so close. Or is it even holding on still? I'm not quite sure what the answer is going to be other than brute force. Okay, uh, smash it and I'll just back away. <laughs> okay, yeah, you okay, succeeded then. on that one. Whoa, that is one thick lens. Isn't it crazy thick? That's Look at that. See how thick that glass is? We even broke it and it just chipped off part of it. You demolished it with that one. That was That's a good awesome. hit. Let's give it another hit like that. All right. One, two, three. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> it shot at me. <laughs> you just gotta get it started with the saw and then you finish it off with the sledgehammer. Boom! Drop the mic. Pardon There's me. the handle where you would twist it, twist it right there. Get those gears. Here is your lens that makes the microscope function properly. And here's our work of art or masterpiece. <laughs> we have lots of masterpieces in our office and garage. It's been a really cool experience the last two years with the water filter video and now this microscope video to make a video in collaboration with Bill and Melinda Gates. So click on the link in the description below and read Bill and Melinda Gates' annual letter and you can read about how life really has improved for the world's poorest people and the truth is, it's going to continue to improve for the world's poorest. We learned so much today about viruses and how things have really gotten a lot better over the years. With polio, it's almost non-existent now. So now you know what's inside the microscope. All of this, our masterpiece right here. There it is. There Thanks it for watching, is. guys.